Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Pocket Mirror. In the last, man, the last episode, we met Queen Egalette, and, uh, well, just about nearly died. And we did die. Unrelated to Egalette, but you guys get the point. And now we're at some sort of ball? Which may be the dancing party that Egalette had mentioned, but... The bows are moving on their own. It's just like the piano we had at home. Aww. Oh, hey, pumpkin charm. It's like someone's playing the harp, but there's nothing there. Would you like to come dance with us? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know how to dance. It's a shame. It's okay, girly. I can't dance either. We're practicing for tonight's party. What do you think of our dancing, miss? <laughs> it's wonderful. You two look very elegant. Why, thank you very much. Okay, so this isn't the dancing party. A bunch of people are just here dancing because they feel like it. Is that how you're dressed for Queen Egulet's dancing party? <sighs> but these are the only clothes I have. I keep feeling I'm, I, like I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I'm not good with names. The severed head of a plush toy fox. Ominous. Why are you sitting over there? What did you say? I can't hear you from here. I'm asking you why you're sitting so far away from me. You're asking me if I want to go if I want to go practice skiing. No, you pumpkin head! I'm asking why you're sitting over there and not over here! No, I don't like my beef rare, or not in a medium heat. I like mine well done! Like you should. Ugh, never mind. Sure is a nice party, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Not gonna lie, that cake looks really good. Queen filled me up with punch, isn't that hilarious? I mean, are you feeling alright? Alright? Did you just ask me if I was doing alright? I've never felt this free in my entire life! I swear I could fly if you threw me out the window. Let's not do that. Yeah, let's not. <laughs> I wonder if I'd become a very handsome prince if I got a kiss from a pretty girl. You're pretty. How about you try it? Alright. So, did anything change? No, not really. Hmm. Maybe it's because we're not truly in love with each other. Probably. Don't give up, Mr. Pumpkin. Aww. Whenever this game isn't horrifying, it's really cute, honestly. Oh, seems to be some sort of... Well, looks like some people are playing chess, some people are having a meal, and... Uh, I don't know. Good evening, miss. Have we possibly met before? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm sorry. I see. That's a shame, because I would totally carve your pumpkin. I'm sorry, mister, but I don't have any... Kiddo, I think he's hitting on you. Uh, wait, what's this? No pumpkins allowed? But they're... I guess those are just decorations. Everyone likes to party here, isn't that nice? Yeah, I suppose it is. What a pretty little girl you are. Listen, do you happen to know how to sew? Yes, I do. How did you know? Don't be silly, of course I didn't. Either way, you can have this. Wire the needle and thread. Thank you. Thank you, miss. All these people are completely uneducated. Can you believe most of them don't know how to read? Pathetic. Huh. I don't even know how to play chess. Just don't tell anyone. It's okay. I can play chess, but I'm very bad at it. Can I tell you a secret, miss? Oh, yes, of course. You promise you won't tell anyone? I promise I won't tell a soul. I actually have a big, big crush on Mrs. Fox. She's such a great dancer. I wish you would notice me already. <laughs> oh, 
Why don't you tell her then? She won't know unless you talk to her. What are you, crazy? I'm sorry, I was just trying to help. Sure you were. Now go away. Girls like you end up all- Hey. That's unnecessary. Oh, hey. I was just like poking around. I didn't expect to actually find something here. Tall clock stands in a corner. Tanning her red hands are running across its face as if in a hurry. Hmm. Hello. <sighs> I guess I'm just not good enough. What's wrong, miss? Oh, it's nothing. You're too young for this kind of thing. Aww. Why is everybody either really nice or really mean to her? Oh, Rabbit, you're so funny. Let's be together forever and ever. Aww. Fancy cabinet made entirely of walnut wood. Fragile looking tea sets rest inside, carefully arranged on the shelves. Oh, hey, another pumpkin charm. That's all that's in here. So yeah, let's just get out of then. Ah, this place is still really lovely though. Silver dad of a plush toy rabbit. Is he all right? Yes, I'm all right. Thank you, miss. Ah, you can talk. Yes, indeed I can. Although it's a shame I can't dance anymore. What happened? You don't have a body. It's not a happy tale, miss. Are you sure you want to listen? If it's alright with you. Take a seat, then. This might take a little while. Okay. In the past, Miss and Mrs. Fox and I were the best dancers in the whole kingdom. We quickly became the Queen's favorite couple, and we would dance for her every day. Because we were the star of every dance party, and we were even invited to dance for Queen Egilet's most precious friend. Next thing we knew, everyone had become jealous, even envious of our talent. I see. One night, after the Queen's uh, one of the Queen's biggest dance parties, we were ambushed in the dressing room by the other dancers. Ambushed? Apparently we were too perfect, and it didn't leave them any chances to be recognized by the Queen. That's the excuse that they used to rip our bodies apart. They hit our limbs, leaving only our heads behind so we could watch them dance in our place. That's horrible. So that fox head must have been Mrs. Fox. Indeed it is. Is there any way I can help you? I believe there isn't much you could do, miss. I don't know where they've hidden our bodies. They could be anywhere. I might be able to get them for you, Mr. Rabbit. That you could, but how are you planning to do so? I believe it's worth a try. Please, let me help you. You are a truly kind lady, miss. May I know your name? I'm sorry, Mr. Rabbit. I don't seem to know my own name. But I will definitely help you and Mrs. Fox. Ah, so that's probably what the needle and thread is for. Thank you, miss. And please, if you run into her by any chance, please do tell her everything is going to be alright. <laughs> you can leave that to me. So let's go tell her, because she's like right over here. Maybe she's asleep. I shouldn't bother her for now. Let's see, so... I heard something unlock. Was that over here? Nope. Probably up here, then. I guess maybe now we check out this mirror? Because this door is locked too. I still can't see my own reflection. Hmm. I wonder if the dancers know anything now. Move out of the way, you're pestering us. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Let's see, <laughs> we already talked to them. We're all trying our best to please Queen Egalette. Hopefully, we and one of us will be chosen as the best dancing couple of the night. I wish you all good luck. Thank you, miss. Hmm. No. Please throw me out the window! I want to be free as a dove! No. That's, that's a bad, dangerous idea. Okay, so... Very 
already talked to everybody in here, so I'm guessing we're just like... I don't know. I'll bring you a pup again if I find an uncarved one. is quite delicious. Speaking of which, I wonder who Queen Negulet will choose. Are you excited? Yes, I am. Tonight's dance party is going to be fabulous. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how to play chess. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. I feel so misunderstood. I'm sure I was born in the wrong center. Oh, God. One of these people. Okay, so I guess we're looking for those body parts now, so. Mm. I'm not entirely sure where to go now. Mostly because, like, I'm pretty sure we've, like, checked everywhere. Can we. I wonder if we can, like. Nope. You and Owen was her- Ha! I get it. That's the- that's the hidden Toho reference, my friends. Okay, let's see. These are so pretty! I've never seen floating pink candles before! Oh, whoa! Hey, that works. Uh, okay, there was one in both! Alright. It is locked, though, so... Fuck. Oh, wait! Aha! I didn't think to look over here, so let's see. Ooh, music box. Good, good, good. Hello? I need your help, desperately! Yes? How can I help you? You see, last Tuesday I won the Kingdom's Lottery and the Queen gave me a shiny coin to use on that machine over around the corner, but I can't seem to be able to use it. Oh, so you'd like me to do it for you? If you don't mind, I've hidden the coin beneath my leaves. <laughs> this one, right? Yes, yes, that's the way, that's the one. Use it, miss. I want to see what my prize is. Sure, we can do that for you. Oh, something came out. What is it? What is it? Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty. Ah, it's a ribbon! A ribbon? <laughs> it's really cute, you don't like it? I do, but I'm a boy. Well, that's not stopped anybody before. I can't use my ribbon. Sorry, miss, but it seems I can't play my prize after all. No, take it. Yes, you can. There, see? It looks pretty on you, Mr. Pumpkin. It does? There are no mirrors here, so I can't tell. Leave that to me. Aw, you look amazing! <laughs> See? You're right, miss. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Pumpkin. That was heartwarming and cute as fuck. Wow. Hello. Great surprises await you in this room. So, I'm guessing we just, like, open boxes, so... I'm gonna save, just in case. Okay, let's see... Open? Hello there, miss. Would you like to play a game with us? You scared me. What kind of game is it? I do that. Why, tell me. What? Yes? Alright. Tell me the answer to this next riddle and you'll be highly rewarded. Should you come upon any trouble, don't hesitate to ask the ringmaster. Okay. At his own funeral did Matthias C., gathered by the open grave, his family of three, father, mother, and brother, and a couple who didn't bother. Uh. Hmm. 
22-year-old Matthias Z gathered by the open grave his family of three, father, mother, and brother, and a couple who didn't bother. Well, that's not a f- Okay, don't give me the ability to answer, okay. Oops, you got it wrong? What? <laughs> I don't- Give me a minute, I'm gonna restart this because I'm a bit confused. Okay, so... Maybe we try a different box? Box is locked shut. It's locked shut. It's locked shut. Damn it. Okay, so we gotta open this one. I guess maybe the ringmaster will tell us what means what? Let's skip through this then. Okay. okay. So, how many people were at Matthias' funeral? I certainly wasn't there. Uh... Oh, I see now. It took me a little bit to notice, but there are numbers on the boxes. Okay. So... At Matthias' at Matthias, at Matthias, at Matthias's funeral, his mom, his dad, and his brother weren't there, but it also says a couple that didn't bother. So, usually a couple refers to two people, so let's see. Uh, actually, no, wait. Didn't I pick this one and get my hand? Actually, no, wait. I think I picked the red one. Oops, you got it wrong. Yeah, never mind. I <laughs> fucked right up. Hmm. Well, uh, in that case... God, it is difficult to see with the screen resolution. Okay, so... Five? Be careful now, little girl. Ah, jeez. Okay, so if it's a couple that didn't bother, maybe that referred to his... No, wait! Wait, wait, wait. Maybe it counts Matthias as well? So it's... Maybe six? Okay, there we go. Here's the next riddle. Let's see. Three times did Marie poke my eye. Three times did she make me cry. Now tell me, little girl, how many times did I wish for her to die? Uh. Hmm. Well. Maybe that one is three? Because maybe he cried from being poked in the eye three times? I'm probably gonna die. Okay, never mind. Here's the next riddle. It's yellow, blue, red, and green. No one can reach it, not even the queen. Uh... That's not something that you can beat. That's not something you can answer with numbers? I hate those despicable green midgets. Thanks, you're not helping. Uh... Hmm. It's yellow, red, blue, and green. No one can reach it, not even the queen. But fucking... I, that doesn't ex... I may need some time to think about this one. So, I think we may need to leave it off here. So, uh, I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Pocket Mirror. I will see you guys then, and take care. 
Thanks for sticking around until the end. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like, a comment, or maybe even subscribing. If you want to watch more of my videos and you want more RPG Maker Horror, you can click here to watch me play Mermaid Swamp. Or, if you'd like a more puzzle-oriented game, you can click here to watch me play One-Shot. See you around!